Teaser. Teaser. Alright guys, what is good? What is happening? How are you doing? But today we are on our way into Durham to meet the City of Durham Scooter Club appropriately named Anno and thought I'd also talk a little bit about what got me into riding in the first place and why scooters they're not exactly the fastest of things although some of them might surprise you so first off what got me into riding was the fact that as many people my age in the scooter scene I would say not everyone but a lot of people had their dads or parents into it both enjoyed riding had scooters used to go on the back of the scooters themselves hello Whew. so yeah uh, my dad was always into scooters so I've sort of well I've definitely grown up around them and I've I've been on the back of his since I was about seven years old on the old uh, PX that he used to have and I think if you if you grow up with them and around them you just sort of I don't know it seems to just fit right that you would then want one yourself what's not to like about just getting onto a bike and going out riding I mean especially when you've got roads like we do around here with a lot of twists, a lot of turns, hills it's not just your yeah, typical I'm gonna sit in a city look at that man it's not your typical I'm just gonna sit in a city and sit at traffic lights all day and go about 100 yards before the next set of traffic lights a lot of the roads around here are all there's a lot of B roads, a lot of country roads and they're all quite enjoyable to ride around and with these types of roads on bikes where you can just fling it into the corner it's good to ride, it feels good another aspect another thing that brings you into it is you might be into the music there's a, a broad range of musical genres that so sort of come along with the scooter scene you've got soul ska reggae punk blue beat indie brit pop some of the kids acid house there's just there's people from all sorts of backgrounds mods skins punks soulies i mean it at one point it there was a lot of hipsters you used to bump into riding around and even now sometimes when you go to bars with music they'll be like oh yeah I, I used to have one of them as they sat there twiddling the handlebar moustache and but that's another part of the scooter scene I suppose is the ones who see them a lot more as fashion and uh, they might just be in a retro things as opposed to actually scooters and the history of scooters but each to their own huh? There's a lot of bikes out tonight. Another big part of why you might stay into the scooter scene, especially, is it sounds cringy and it sounds really cliche, but the people you meet really make the scene what it is. Like, I've met so many good friends who a lot of the time would do anything for you through just being on a scooter and first meeting them with me dad and then getting me own I mean more people just just through the independence of going out on your scooter and meeting other people and I mean I know people from Glasgow all of uh, do you really want to I know people from well I know a lad from Wolverhampton and uh We've met people from the Isle of Wight, like 
up and down the country would know people just through having a shared interest in scooters and riding and getting really drunk like what could you not love about it I mean during the summer now things have got so hectic that realistically you could be at a rally every every weekend if you had the money and could handle the miles maybe that's a sign that the scene's growing or maybe it's just a sign that people want to do their own things a bit more I would say it is getting pretty overcrowded all of the different events and rallies there's a lot of there's a lot of them that you have to miss out on because you want to go somewhere else but anyway back to why I ride there's just something about being on two wheels and this isn't just scooter related this is just two wheeled vehicle related really that there's just something about it that's just a lot more enjoyable than driving a car I think with cars you just you sat there and you're comfortable and you just you just sit in turning your arms and it's just I mean I can enjoy driving a car I'm going a road trip in a car maybe not have the best of times but I'll still enjoy it but on a bike when you you're leaning in the corners and you can you can feel everything around you feel feel the road a lot more and it's there's no no better feeling I think than being on a bike coming up to an S bend going on the outside inside hitting the apex flicking the bike hour hitting the other apex mate so good obviously in a completely road legal sense hitting the apex like I'm not I'm not all about going the other side of the road all the time but are uh, you really gonna try that all right but but yeah it's just better than being in a car and just stuck there sitting but maybe that's just me I doubt it though I am having to use hand signals because my indicators are currently not working because of course they're not it's this karate I still have an oil leak haven't fixed that and the entire front front wheel front brakes they all need sorting as well so I shouldn't really be out on it but it's been too long and I, I miss it so here I am living my best life apparently now this is only the second video but it's it's like a month after the first one and there is a reason for that which is that I've been doing a summer school to go back to uni to start my teaching degree my PGCE so I will uh, especially with the season coming to a close as well uh, I don't know when my next video will be up I couldn't give a any sort of accurate time scale at all it'll just be I'm free I'm gonna go out record a video think of something to talk about record it and then find the time to somehow edit it in between being at uni being in school placements doing all the extra work that that entails so there might be a whole host of videos come at once but if I do get in a situation where I am sitting on sort of excess videos I doubt it'll happen but if it does I'll just keep them and release them weekly or something weekly by weekly keep time ticking over so that I'm not going long periods without a video and then certain periods where there's a video every other day because I just don't think that's a very good idea now I need to try and remember where I am going in the directions because I did not look on Google Maps your boy is smart it's your boy Scott Maddie loving life there's a turn somewhere up here 
Also, Durham's a beautiful city, man. Look at that. There's some real history in this place. I might start doing destination videos. Ride with players, talk about it on the way there. Have a little ride around of it. I don't even know if there'll be very many people here, to be honest, because it didn't sound like it was going to be that busy on Facebook. But I might even be early. That'll be a first if I am. I doubt it though. Oh, is there even anybody here at all? Oh, there is not. This is interesting. I hope it's still here. Oh. Whoa. Right, so here we are on the way home. There wasn't many turned up. And by not many I mean two people turned up, so not the biggest of turnouts, but yeah, it is what it is. Um, since I don't really have very much more to talk about today. I will leave the video like that so hope you guys have enjoyed it I'll uh, make sure you like subscribe hit that notification bell for whenever I do post up another one and I'll see you boys girls anything else that you want to identify as out on the road